We are still following breaking news out of Palm Beach County. A man is dead after authorities say he was hit by a marked Palm Beach County Sheriff Patrol car. Our Caleb Califano is joining us live from the overpass just above where this deadly accident happened. Caleb, you're on the scene. What do you know so far? That's right. We are currently on the Okeechobee Boulevard bridge that looks over I-95 going both ways. And as we pan over to show you this accident, you could just see the large amount of law enforcement here, both Florida Highway Patrol and Palm Beach uh, County deputies. There's multiple units here just investigating this scene. According to Florida Highway Patrol, this looks like it was just a very unfortunate accident. We do know that a Palm Beach Sheriff's deputy was heading on I-95 southbound early this morning around 545 when he did hit a man that was crossing the street. We do know that Sheriff's deputy was not going to any emergency calls at that time, but of course a very unfortunate accident here. And because of that, you could just see with the investigation, the amount of police and um, investigators here that all of I-95 southbound here near Okeechobee Boulevard has been shut down at this time and it's been shut down now for hours. Now that we're past rush hour though, they are advising people if uh, you can to get off on Palm Beach Lakes Boulevard. But since it's been so long, we know that that it's pretty much a parking lot even north of that right now. But as you can still see here, just because of the severity of this crash, there's going to be multiple investigations here. They're going to continue to look at this scene. But as we learn more about how long this is going to take and, of course, when the interstate will be back open, we'll make sure to keep you updated on air and on the line. We are live in West Palm Beach. Caleb Califano, WPBF 25 News. Caleb, thank you. Busy morning on the roadways. Of course, we're going to continue following this deadly crash and alert you once that part of I-95 does reopen. When we're not on air, though, you can find the latest details on our website, WPBF.com, and on our free WPBF 25 news app.